So how's your business doing? That's what my dad asked me last week while we took a little mini family vacation. Went down to Assateague Beach for the day and just sitting there shooting the breeze, enjoying the breeze. And I'm trying to figure out how to answer the question. I kind of gave him a long-winded answer about some new projects, some new clients, how the YouTube channel is doing. And after a while, I have to stop and I say, rewind. I look around and I see my boys splashing in the waves and, and, and here I am able to spend some quality time with my dad, um, which we just don't get that much of anymore. And I say, this is, this is how my business is doing. I get to be here on a Tuesday. I didn't have to request PTO from a supervisor. I just put in a couple hours of work the day before to prep and make sure everything's copacetic with my clients. And, uh, here we are, just enjoying a little vacation, spending time the way I want to spend my time. This is how my business is doing. Or rather, this is what my business is doing for me and my family. Our business and our work is a part of our lives. We talk about work-life balance, like our life is over here and our work is over here. Our work is inside of our lives and we need to do it, but it needs to support our larger view, our larger vision and purpose of how we want to live, how we want to spend our time. So we need to work, we need to put in an effort, we need to mind our numbers, we need to develop profitable business offerings and strategies, but we need to remember why we're doing it. And for me, my why is my who, my family. I wanna work and make as much money as possible, but without compromising my ability to spend as much time as possible with my wife and kids, especially during this season while they're young. I mean, some days it feels like the season will never end, but I know it's gonna be over before I know it, especially if I'm not paying attention. So I wanna pay attention. Time is something I cannot make more of. During my original meandering answer to my dad's question about how my business is doing, I did mention how I feel like I didn't have as much momentum right now. I was kind of taking my foot off the gas a bit, uh, not really driving business growth, but spending more time just, you know, doing some travel, some adventures, some trips with my family. It's a more relaxed uh, season. So depending how you look at it, you could say my business isn't doing as well as it has in the past. It's kind of in a lull right now. But if I'm measuring business success and health by how well it is supporting my whole life success and health and my ability to spend time the way I want to, then it's doing just fine. Now that's me. How you measure business health and success, that's up to you. But I would encourage you to not lose sight of the bigger picture and to not let your business and work become all there is, especially if you have a family. Please do not sacrifice them on the altar of profit and wealth accumulation. Again, we need to make our money so we can take care of them, so we can prepare for the future. But also, as you're able to, reinvest right now into getting more time with them. I'd rather have sea glass than diamonds. If I had to choose between having enough time to walk along the beach with my wife, gathering shells and sea glass, or having enough money to give her lavish gifts, I would absolutely choose time. Now, if you can have both, cool, congratulations, you're at another level, but prioritize, first things first. And as we're wrapping up the summer, Please take full advantage of this time. While the kids are out of school and you have a more flexible schedule, get flexible. Use that freedom and enjoy time with your family, your loved ones and your friends and the weather. Just enjoy your life. It's okay to take your foot off the gas on your business. That doesn't mean you're not successful. For what it's worth, I believe it means you are filthy stinking rich. My name is David Steininger, your trusty self-employment sidekick. Wherever you are in your self-employment journey, whether you just have an idea and you're getting started or you are actively growing a small business, please reach out. I'd love to learn more about what's going on and how I can help you. You can reach out at selfemploymentsidekick.com. 
and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in tech tips, tool reviews, interviews with other business owners, and actionable strategies to help you turn your side gig into your central gig. Thank you for watching. Don't forget sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one.